But apart from the Holy Spirit being our helper, what else does the Holy Spirit do? I mean, what really is his main purpose? And I don't know if you've been thinking about that during this time together, but it's a valid question. What really is the main purpose of the Holy Spirit? Well, that's a good question. We'll look at John chapter 16, and we'll give you a short answer there, because Jesus gives us the answer in John chapter 16, verse 12. This is what he says. He says, I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear, but when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will, seek, he will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will glorify me, highlight that, underline that, he will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. Let's make it real simple. Jesus here gives us the answer to the question that you were thinking about what is the main purpose of the Holy Spirit, and it's found in verse 14. Jesus said, he, the Holy Spirit, will glorify me. In other words, Jesus is speaking, and he's telling the disciples that the job of the Holy Spirit is to glorify me. That's the overarching goal of the Holy Spirit, is to glorify me. You know, some of you say, well, Pastor, what does that mean? That, that, that he would glorify Jesus, it very simply means that he would put Jesus on display. That everything would point to Jesus. The job of the Holy Spirit is that everybody would see the power of the Holy Spirit and they would look to Jesus. That everything would point to Jesus. They would put Jesus on display. It would magnify, it would glorify the name and the person and the power of Jesus Christ. That's the job of the Holy Spirit. You see it in verse 14. I'll read it again. He will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. So the job of the Holy Spirit is to simply glorify Christ. And let's stop here just for a minute. Let's camp here and I'll be done in just a minute. If you've grown up in church, and many of you have, and, and you have seen and you have heard some things and you've seen some things, that have been labeled as a move of the power of the Holy Spirit, you'll know that all of the attention, watch this now, all of the emphasis was on the Holy Spirit. Anybody ever grow up in church like that? I, I have. I, I grew up in church. I grew up in Pentecostal church in Brooklyn, New York, and we would, we would see things and things would happen in church, and we would go, man, that's a move of the Spirit of God, Right? And it was something miraculous, and it was something marvelous. And, and I don't want to take anything away from that, but I want us to really understand what Scripture is telling us right now. When we saw all of that, we, we stepped back and we went, man, the Holy Spirit is moving. The Spirit of God is here. Woo, hallelujah, look at the Spirit of God. The Holy Ghost is here. But if we understand Scripture, we'll understand that the job of the Holy Spirit is to do what? To glorify Christ. So if there was any time in your life that there was an emphasis on anything that transcends the priority of Jesus Christ, that was not the Spirit of God. Hello, are you still with me? Did I lose you? I know you didn't like what I said, but let me say it again. When you start to see something that transcends the priority of pointing people to Christ, that's not God. That's not the Spirit of God. Because the whole job of the Spirit of God is to do what? That everybody look to Christ. That everybody look to Christ. When you see that, oh, I, and I'm going to prove it to you as I'm, as I'm ending, that everybody would look to Christ and look to Christ and look to Christ and look to Christ, not look to a person, not look to a pastor, not look to an evangelist, not look to a prophet, not look to an apostle, not look to a church, not look to a denomination, not look to a movement, but that every person looks to Jesus Christ. That's the purpose of the Holy Ghost, is that we look to Jesus. Now, thank God for the church, and thank God for the denomination, and thank God for the men and women that serve, but you ought not to ever look at me. You ought to always look at Jesus. 